These scoffers are willingly ignorant. That means dumb on purpose. You say, come on, is it possible to cover the earth with water? Well, <clears throat> theoretically, one drop of world will cover the water. One drop of water will cover the world if you spread it real thin. This is arguably one of the most stupid statements I've ever heard, and it would be trivial for anyone who has passed even a high school science class to demonstrate this. The minimum amount of water you need to cover the earth is a monolayer. After this, all you need to know is the surface area of the earth, which you can get just by typing surface area of the earth into Google, and the area occupied by a water molecule, which you can estimate just from typing dimensions of a water molecule into Google. After that, it's simply a matter of dividing one by the other. Divide the surface area of the Earth, which is about 5 times 10 to the power of 34 square angstroms, by the surface area of a water molecule, about 10 square angstroms, and you get the number of water molecules required for a monolayer. Avogadro's number and the molecular mass of water later, you find that in order to coat the Earth with a monolayer of water, you need about 150,000 tons of water. That's about a trillionth of the water on the Earth. Now compare this value, 150,000 tons, to Hoban's statement that you only need about one drop of water. It's about 20 milligrams to cover the Earth. This means that Hoban was wrong on his calculations by a factor of about a trillion. That's a one with 12 zeros after it. But I don't think I have ever seen anyone get an error of a trillion before. That's the same error as stating the distance from the Earth to the Moon, whose actual distance is about 400 million meters, is less than one millimeter. It's about the thickness of your big toenail. That's the same error as stating the number of stars in our galaxy, which is about half a billion, is less than one. That's the same error as stating the age of the universe, which is about 15 billion years, is less than one week. That's the same error as stating the tax Hovind owed, which is about a million dollars, was about one millionth of a cent. Which probably goes a long way to explaining why Kent Hovind is currently serving ten years in jail for tax fraud. The calculation is trivial to do, and I would expect anyone who has even a high school education to be able to perform such a calculation. Yet Mr. Hovind claims to have taught high school science fifteen years and to have a PhD. Evidently Kent Hovind's academic definition of what a PhD is and what teaching science entails are some bizarre usage that neither I nor any other English speaker have come across. You say, come on, is it possible to cover the earth with water? Well, <clears throat> theoretically one drop of world will cover the water. One drop of water will cover the world if you spread it real thin.